Welcome back to P2. Today we are looking at Unit 1.3, the Factor Theorem. Now, this is just a simple or quick way to find linear factors of a polynomial. And basically, if we have a factor, we know that our f of x would equal 0. So if we substitute, say, a value in P, and it equals 0, then that means that x minus p is a factor of my f of x. And I can say the reverse, you know, if x minus p is a factor, then f of p equals 0. And this also works with fractions. So say I have f of b over a, and that equals 0. Then what that means is that ax minus b is a factor of my f of x. Or alternatively, you know, if ax minus b is a factor, then f of b over a is equal to 0. And where you get these is essentially think of these like x minus p equals 0, so x equals p, and that then is what links with this bit. Yeah? The same with, you know, this ax minus b, if we make it equal to 0, ax equals b, x equals b over a. That then is the value that you substitute into your function. So here we got to show that x minus 3 is a factor of this expression. So what we're going to say is, I'm just going to say let f of x equal this expression. And then I want to substitute in 3. It's the value that essentially makes this bracket 0. So that will give me 3 to the power of 4 minus 3 cubed minus 7 lots of 3 squared plus 7 lots of 3 minus 12. So 3 to the power of 4 is 81 minus 27. 3 squared is 9 times by 3 is 6, uh, sorry, times by 7 is negative 63 there, plus 21 minus 12, and that is 0. Therefore, x minus 3 is a factor of x to the power of 4 minus x cubed minus 7x squared plus 7x minus 12. Now, to fully factorise a cubic, the first thing I need to do is work out a single factor of it. So I'm going to do that by first thinking this is going to be my f of x. So I'm letting f of x equal that cubic. And then I want to substitute values in. Now I want to start around 1. 1 minus 1 then I go 2 minus 2 and it's always around those values that you'll find your answer okay so let's have a look so we get so here we got 2 plus 1 minus 15 minus 18 and that's going to give me minus 30 so that's no good so let's look at f of minus 1. So that's going to be minus 2 plus 1 plus 15 minus 18. And then I want to try my 2s, minus 2 and plus 2. So let's go with the minus 2 first. So we get 2 lots of minus 2 cubed plus minus 2 squared minus 15 times minus 2 minus 18. So minus 2 cubed is minus 8, so we've got minus 16 plus 4 
plus 30 minus 18 and equals 0. Therefore, x plus 2 is a factor of 2x cubed plus x squared minus 15x minus 18. So that's my first step. Now, before we do go any further, what I would say is that you can use the table function in your calculator to help you out with this. So the table function will give you an f of x equals, you'll see f of x pop up in your calculator. You just stick this in as you see it. And then when you press equals, you get an option that says start, end, and step. Keep the step at one, because you want to put in whole numbers. And I usually put the start and the end between minus five and plus five. You don't want it too big, otherwise the calculator takes too long or is unable to do it. But this then will usually find you your solution. So what you'll do is, You'll see an x column and an f of x column then once you've pressed equals. And you're looking for where f of x says zero and then you read across from it. And in my case, it would have said minus two. And that way then I know straight away minus two is what I want to substitute in. Now, let's continue with the question. So we had found that x plus two is a factor of my cubic. And then I need to go to my long division. And simply divide. So 2x squared. What I'll do is I'll speed this bit up now. Okay, now I can see that my 2x cubed plus x squared minus 15x minus 18 is the same as x plus 2 and 2x squared minus 3x minus 9. And my next step is just to see if this factorizes. If this doesn't factorize, I'm done. If it does factorize, I can split it up into two more brackets. So let's have a look x plus 2 is going to be a 2x if it does work. So we're looking at 3 and 3. So minus 6 plus 3, yeah, there we are. So this fully factorized is x plus 2, 2x plus 3, and x minus 3. Final example now before I give you a few to try. So given that x plus 2 is a factor of this, find a. So nice and easy. So let my f of x equal my expression. And then what I want to do is substitute in negative 2. So we get 5 lots of negative 2 to the power of 4. 10 lots of negative 2 cubed. Plus 2 lots of negative 2 squared. Plus a lots of negative 2 plus 2 and we know this has to equal 0 as it is a factor so that gives me 80 now minus 2 cubed is minus 8 so this is going to be minus 80 minus 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8 minus 2a plus 2 equals 0 so now I can see that I'm going to get 10 equals 2a if I rearrange so a must be equal to 5 and of course you can put it all back in your calculator and double check if you wish here are seven questions for you to try and as always the answers are at the end of the video
Alternatively, you can use the table function in your calculator. Um, so if you select table, you'll see it come up with a, an f of x. So you'll see it come up with f of x equals, and then you just want to put in your function. So you just pop this into your calculator, and then you press equals. And when you do, you get a new menu. And that menu has like a start, and then an end, and a step. So you want to start, say, maybe minus 5, go to 5, and end in 1. Or you can go, say, 0 to 10 and 1. I wouldn't do too many for your start and end. And the step should be 1. And what it'll do is it'll give you a table of values where it'll substitute in. So if you put between minus 5 and 5, it will substitute in all those values. So minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, all the way up to 5 and give you the value of that f of x okay that's what i did and that's how i quickly found which is the which value to substitute in if you want a little bit more detail just uh, pop something in the comments and maybe i can do a quick little short on using that function